Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Colin with NVIDIA, and today I'm gonna to show you how we made this epic hydration commercial for Prime made by Logan Paul and KSI. Now we really only need two things. First, we just need to go to their website and gather images and text. And then the second thing is to use NVIDIA's online editor. So I'm on here on the Prime website. And what I'm actually gonna do is click on each one of these bottles. I'm just going to click on it and then click save image. So I'm gonna go through all these drinks and save the images. And I'm also gonna save this collection of all the bottles here as well, because we might need to use that later too. Now I'm also taking a look at their about section for the font that they're using, like here with Prime, but also what their goals are, which is to create a fantastic hydration drink that can fuel any lifestyle. So that'll be kind of the theme of our commercial. Now that I have everything I need, I'm on the invideo.io website, and we are gonna click a blank canvas, 16 by nine, and make this video. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is add all our brand kit assets to this project. So I'm gonna click upload media here and start downloading all of our images. All right, now we have all our images here and let's make this awesome commercial. So to start, I'm going to go to the text effects here and click on the basic and try to find some text similar to the Prime logo. So this big sale one is very similar to how Prime has their text. So I'm gonna go with that one. And then I'm just gonna have it centered here in the middle to where it'll pop up. And it even comes with a little transition too, which is really nice. So what I'm gonna do is hop over to videos here and I'm just gonna search orange. And I'm actually gonna search dropping because I wanna convey oranges, freshness, and take a look at a few of these uh, stock videos just to see what comes up here. And this one looks really fresh. I like the water mixed in there. So we are gonna add this one in as well. And then what I'm gonna do is click on this video and I want there to be an animation fade in so it really blends in. I'm gonna do fade. All right, I think I got it aligned here. So when I click play, it shows prime, shows the oranges, and then poof, we'll get into some of the other key features here. Now we wanna add a few scenes here to really sell the idea of it being refreshing. So I'm gonna add some things like hydrate, refuel, replenish, and then have some backdrops here. So I'm gonna add some more text in right now. And then behind each of these text effects, I'm gonna to go to the video section and look for stock footage kind of related to those flavors. So like lemon, grape, uh, blue raspberry. These are the different flavors of our drinks. So we'll put those in the back background behind each of these text effects. All right, so as you can see, I've added stuff to the background now to each of these text effects for refuel, hydrate, replenish. And now would be a great time after all this to show off the different flavors that are available. So now what I'm gonna do is start adding in some of these images here to the timeline, just so I can get each of them in line. All right, so I have three of the main prime drinks up here. I didn't add some of the other flavors in just cause I don't wanna lose the viewer's attention. So I have the three here, and then at the end, we'll end up adding this section where it shows all the flavors, just so that way we keep the viewer engaged. Now to each of these bottles, I'm going to click on them and click animation. And what I wanna do is add an animation to make it more interesting. So what I'm actually gonna do is a bounce in transition. I just wanna see what this looks like here. And I'm gonna decrease it a little bit just cause we're showing them really quickly. And I'll also make the bounce animation out. All right, let's see what this looks like here. So it all bounces in, that is great. That looks really nice. And then let's add some text effects. I'm actually gonna put the text behind these images, which will state the flavor of each bottle. So for this, I'm gonna open up my text again. I'm gonna go to the basic styles here and look again here just to see what's available. And this game over text effect has this cool little flash to it. So I'm actually gonna use that for this. All right, so I've added raspberry in here. What I'm actually gonna do is also change the color over to blue. Awesome, and then I'm just going to drag this to the background right underneath this layer so that way the text gets moved uh, behind the actual bottle. All right, and then I'm gonna do the exact same effect for each of the other bottles here. All right, so I went through and added all the text and this is what we have right now, which looks great, shows the three flavors there. And then for that last scene, we're gonna have all the flavors appear on screen, but we're gonna need a background. So I'm gonna go back to video here and what I'm actually gonna search for is 
neon tubes. I just wanna see what pops up just to see if we can get a cool lit up background. And there is this one here with a little bit of motion, which I like. I'm gonna add this into our project. All right, and then we're gonna to go to uploads. I'm going to add in this image here. There we go. And I'm gonna click on animation. And in here, we're gonna have it slide down onto the screen. There we go. And then I want some more splash effect in here because that does convey freshness and cleanness. So we're gonna go back over to video again. So what I'm gonna type here is splash. There we go. Let's see if I can find some water effects here. All right, so I found this interesting splash effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it to our video here. And I'm going to place it behind the bottles. And then what I'm also going to do is increase the size of the splash, move it over here. And then what I'm gonna do is click on effects, blending. And on here, I want to blend it to screen. So that way we can still see the background and everything. And then what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna have it splash up from the middle, right when this lands down, it'll splash up. And then what I'm also going to do is duplicate it. And then we're gonna spin this around. And now when we click play here, they slide onto the screen and we see that splash effect. And for the final touch, we are just going to search for a glitch effect here for the ending. I'm gonna add this one in here. And we're gonna do that screen again, just so that way it blends in the glitch effect. And then I want there to be one last bit of text at the end. And then the last thing we need to do is go to music, find a song that we wanna use for this project. And we have an awesome, epic commercial. And that's that. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you found value, be sure to click the like button and subscribe for more tutorials just like this. And if you wanna check out another product commercial we did for Nike, be sure to check out this video right here so you can learn how to do more effects within InVideo. This is Colin with InVideo and we'll see you in the next one.